Primary central nervous system lymphoma is a rare and aggressive form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma exclusively affecting the central nervous system, that is the brain, meninges, spinal cord, cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, the reason it's a tricky disease is because often the diagnosis can be difficult to make. It can present in a range of ways, often with patients quite debilitated by the, the anatomical problems from their, their CNS lymphoma because of where it is and causing physical um, problems such as weakness and other issues. In order to diagnose central nervous system lymphoma, it is quite an undertaking. It requires a biopsy to show aggressive B-cell lymphoma within the CNS and then patients also need to undergo full staging to make sure that it is truly a primary central nervous system lymphoma and that there's no evidence of disease elsewhere. So it means undertaking the full staging including a PET scan, often a bone marrow biopsy, in some instances also a ultrasound of the testes to ensure there's no other disease present. Even once the uh, sample is taken to, to show the large B cells by histology, it still is quite a difficult diagnosis to make because there are other uh, lesions that can look similar on, in radio, uh, on an MRI scan, such as glioblastoma and other uh, non-lymphoma CNS uh, diseases.